The ocean is more terrifying than outer space with its own alien creatures. But wait till you see what's lurking in the deep depths. And no, it's not your mom. So from the surface to 200 meters is actually called the sunlight zone. But I hang out at zero meters dodging seagulls and all my responsibilities. Bruh. Most of the ocean's life is actually found in the sunlight zone. It's the shallow end of the chaos, bro. But just because it's the shallow doesn't mean that it's safe. This video shows you the real speed of a shark. What? No way. Still not as fast as a toddler who grabbed something he shouldn't have. Great white sharks can actually hit speeds of 20 miles per hour underwater, which doesn't sound that fast until you realize that you swim as fast as a floating potato, bro. Thankfully though, most sharks actually don't want to eat us, but rather just play nice. Bruh. But if you cannonball into shark water just for Instagram, congrats. You're now sushi with a filter. She was a fairy. What? Oh, heck no. This dude's just chilling while a shark circling him like he's in an all-you-eat buffet, man. Uh-uh. That's crazy. Wait, is that? That's a reef shark. Now these sharks can actually get up to six feet long, man. And they're known for hunting their prey in circles like that before moving in. They usually hang out in shallow water too. Coastal waters and typically not aggressive towards humans. But does it matter what kind of shark it is, bro? It's still a shark. That's like asking what kind of car just ran over your foot. Does it matter? If I see anything like that circling me in the ocean, I'm doing a backflip back to land. All right, it's time to release my new pet fish. Pet Have a fish. good life in your new pond, buddy. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh my God, no. Bro thought he was making a Disney movie, but nature said, nope, this is National Geographic, fam. Now that's actually a tarpon, basically a 200 pound water missile that treats smaller fish like a Happy Meal toy. Next time, just keep your fish in a tank, bro, because the ocean has zero chill. The ocean doesn't care about your feel good moments. The time I thought we were being attacked by wild dolphins. There he is. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> shit, they're big. They're FYI, wild dolphins can actually be super aggressive. But wait a minute, why are we calling dolphins that are in a wild wild? Of course they are wild. We're in their home. If you ever see fins like that circling and your first thought is, aw, dolphins, congratulations. You're the first course in the shark's tasting menu. So yeah, the shallow end of the ocean is like the kiddie pool, but with apex predator. So check it out. The Statue of Liberty is at 93 meters, which is about 300 feet tall. And that would easily fit in the shallow parts of the ocean. The North Sea, so that's 95 meters deep, which is why it's so dangerous since it creates massive waves. Lake Superior starts at 142 meters deep, but has a maximum depth of 406 meters. That's over 1,300 feet. That's taller than four Statues of Liberty stacked on top of each other like a Jenga tower. Lake Superior is so big it literally has its own ship museum. It's also so cold and so deep that bodies don't decompose. They just get preserved like underwater action figures. And people still scuba dive this deep guys. Look these divers came face to face across a strange fish in the ocean called the doomsday fish also known as oral fish. Now these fish typically live about 3,000 feet but they do come to the surface when they sense something terrible is about to happen. Earthquakes, tsunamis, or a sequel to the live action Snow White. Weird. Weird. And all this weirdness is still in the sunlight zone but it's a about to get so much worse. Now we're in the twilight zone where the sun checks out and says, good luck fam. It's dark and cold down here and everything floats, glows, or looks like it escaped Area 51. The Saikan Tunnel. Japan built a tunnel so deep under the ocean they basically invented fast travel. It actually runs underwater and go through solid rock. Imagine being on a train and knowing that there's 100 meters of ocean just above you. It's deeper than the Empire State Building is tall. And if that doesn't make your anxiety do push-ups, I don't know what will. Well, maybe this guy, because at this depth, you'll find the Humboldt Squid, AKA the Red Devil. These things hunt in squads, flash lights like raves, and have zero chill. Bro, this is deep. We're talking hundreds of meters down deep. Where it's so dark and empty, it starts to feel like a Facebook comment section. Void of common sense and almost no life. Bro. What? And around these depths, this alien hand reached out to you from the shadows, man. It's giving me 2 a.m. trying to find my cell phone charger in a dark energy. Okay. This beast is a giant squid, commonly mistaken for the Kraken. They grow up to 40 feet or bigger, longer than a school bus. These thick boys usually hunt around 500 meters to 1,000 meters deep. But down here, long tentacles aren't the only thing trying to ruin your day. Around 500 meters deep, we meet the ocean's vampire, the vampire squid. I mean, despite its name, it doesn't actually suck blood and it's not a squid. You know how creative scientists can be, bro. Anyway, it's called vampire because when it gets threatened, it turns itself inside out like a web cape. And you can actually see those shiny projections on its webs. The vampire squid also projects this bioluminescent mucus instead of ink. Imagine defending yourself by throwing snot at your enemies. Okay, so the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, easily sinks into the ocean at this point. The building is so tall, it's actually been struck by lightning over 20 times. And at this depth in the ocean, you also get menacing creatures. Like this guy, the viper fish. The viper fish actually has light producing photophones along its body to track prey in the darkness. I mean, look at this guy. Basically, it's like saying, hey, come check out this cool light show. Then chomp, snatches up his food like me in the fridge at 3 a.m. And this deep sea camera captures a mysterious creature about 900 meters in the ocean. 
Now I bet the cameraman had to change his pants after he saw that wheel appear out of nowhere. Right. And we also have this fish that looks like your grandpa. I'm too old for this. Meet the frilled shark. Now this prehistoric nightmare that looks like someone tried to draw an eel from memory while panicking got over 300 needle teeth in his mouth and its jaws open like a haunted Pez dispenser. It doesn't bite, it inhales like your uncle at Thanksgiving dinner. And this all is at just 1,000 meters. Now get ready to go to the midnight zone. So far in this video, it's like me showing you the top layer of lasagna, forgetting all the meaty horror that's underneath. So grab your floaties or your rubber duckies, or even maybe this blue plushie to hold on what's coming. And if you want one of these, the link's in the description. So let's go see how deeper this rabbit hole of pressure, monsters, and deep sea horror goes. This is the average depth of the Argentine, the Arctic, and the Black Sea. This is also the greatest depth that a great white shark can dive since it gets very cold down there and they can't even stay down there for very long. And also at 1200 meters, this deep scary looking alien was caught on the camera. This thing is known as the Big Fin Squid straight up nightmare fuel. These things drag their arms along the seafloor and snatch up things to eat. Now this is exactly what I imagine when I'm swimming and a piece of seaweed touches my leg. The Labrador Sea averages a depth of over 1898 meters, which is about 6,000 feet deep. It's a massive body of water in the North Atlantic. This is where minke whales are found and they make some crazy sounds too, like this. Or this. And to see at this depth, you need some special eyes, like this barrel eye fish. This fish literally sees with tubes instead of normal eyes. It has a transparent head so it can stare into its own nightmares and attract prey above it. I guess nature down here gave up on making things cute, huh? Imagine living in 4K while you shaped like a cursed gumball machine. And this is all still a warm up, bro. It's about to get worse. At around 220 depths, this is the average depths of the Caribbean Sea and the maximum depths of the Argentine and Black Sea, the Perdido oil platform. So this is an actual oil platform that built like a final destination set piece floating above sea creatures that evolved in pure darkness, man. Fun fact, perdido in Spanish actually means lost. Y'all didn't think I knew Spanish, huh? I don't. I just looked it up. But this is exactly where your sanity would go working down there. Once you hit 3,000 meters, now you're entering a zone called the abyss. This is where the ocean stops playing around entirely. No light, crushing pressure, and biology officially goes rogue. At this depth, you would see this thick beast. This is the Pacific Island shark. People saw this shark on camera and screamed, It's a baby megalodon! The megalodon actually live closer to the surface in warmer waters. These deep sea sharks are designed for the deep ocean. All squishy and thick. Like me, bro! This depth is where sponges lives too. No, not that sponge, this sponge. This is the harp sponge, and it doesn't filter feet, it hunts. It just waits with barbed hooks, grabs anything it touches, and then boom! Yeah, this thing wakes up every day and chooses violence, man. The Titanic is around 3,700 meters, which is also over 12,000 feet deep. The pressure at this depth is over 5,500 pounds per square inch, if you didn't know that. The Titanic is actually lies in two pieces down here. The bow and the stem about 600 meters apart, too. Many people actually wonder why there were never any bones at the site of the Titanic. Let me show you why. One reason is these nasty looking things called bone eating worms. They feed on the bones of dead whales or large carcasses. Like a post apocalypse charcuterie board. Instead, these little things secrete acid down here and break down bone and absorb nutrients using symbolic bacteria in their bodies. Sounds gross, but you know what? They gotta eat. And once you hit 6,000 meters, welcome to the underworld. The pressure's so great down here, it'll fold a submarine like a quesadilla. Hey! Now I'm getting hungry. Who got a taco? At about 21,000 feet deep, 6,500 meters below the surface is the USS Johnson. This is actually deeper than the Titanic and even deeper than most submarines can go. This is the deepest known shipwreck ever discovered and surveyed. The USS Johnson sank in 1944 and wasn't even discovered until 2021. At over 8,800 meters, Mount Everest would easily fit in the ocean and have some left over and not even touch the bottom. That's over five miles underwater, man. And yet this little dude lives here in the Mariana Trench. This is a snailfish, the deepest known living fish ever filmed, man. Check him out. This fish lives with pressure with crush a tank and it looks like a sad little gummy bear. It doesn't have bones. Basically, it's a wet sock with a brain, like some Twitter used. But if that was unsettling, just wait, we're not done yet. Now this spaghetti demon is the big fin squid and they can go down to over 10,000 meters. This thing looks like someone gave Slender Man a jellyfish costume and told him to go vibe in a deep ocean. Now welcome to the Challenger Deep, the absolute rock bottom of the Mariana Trench. So far down, that's like stacking 30 Empire State buildings on top of each other. The pressure down here, it's so great, about 1,100 times stronger than that on the surface. That's like having a full grown elephant balance on every square inch of your body. Your bones will crumble like a soda can under a monster truck. Could the Megalodon actually be living in the Mariana Trench? Hey y'all, come look at this. Could your brain really be living in Uranus? Oh shoot. The Megalodon live near the surface. Warm water, big prey, big drama. It wouldn't even last five minutes down here to Mariana Trench before it turned into a shark puree with fins, man. More people have actually been to the moon 
than actually been down here in the Mariana Trench. Isn't that crazy? Down here, there's no sunlight, no warmth, no Uber Eats delivery. Just bone crusher, pressure, toxic chemical soup, and creatures that look so freaky. Look like they were designed by someone who got fired from a Harvard movie that took things way too far. I'll be sitting on my couch covered in Doritos watching Netflix while the scariest thing is my credit card bill. But if you want to go swimming, guys, this blue plushie might help you. I'll put the link in the description. And I also have some shirts like Megalodon and Bloop shirts if you guys are interested. But I have one more question. You ready to go swimming? <laughs>